skies. Frankie, good morning to you. Dun, dun. Cool northwesterly today. Uh, <laughs> temperatures right now sit around 12, which is not bad for this time of year. That's where we should be in the morning. But daytime highs today, below seasonal. Yeah, so the kids need to just, just bring another layer with you as you head out the door. Yeah. Gets yeah. a bit better later. Yeah, a little sweater weather. We'll sweater call it weather. Out. Sweater weather. Okay, let's take a look. What's going on this morning? So we have temperatures up at Pearson sitting at 11. We have 7 into uh, Quebec, 8 into Sudbury, 15 into Windsor. Today, dry conditions. That's what we're going to get. But uh, just been seeing some isolated thunderstorms moving their way down into southwestern Ontario. You could be seeing that through Sarnia, Windsor, uh, into Leamington as well. That's going to stay to the southwest. Toronto, a little bit of morning cloud cover, partly cloudy through the afternoon. Your high, as we mentioned, just about 17 today. Tomorrow we'll hit daytime highs of 19, still with a northerly wind. And then on Thursday, even though we get into some isolated showers, wind direction is going to move to the southwest, and we'll see a high warmer, right around 24. Let's look at the next three days. Over to you, Carrie, with a look at the roads. All right, thanks, Frank. Well, I spoke with the MTO about this construction on the southbound 400 just before Highway 89. It is in the process of clearing, so hopefully all lanes are open soon. But in the meantime, it is jammed southbound 400 from approaching Innisfil Beach Road down towards Highway 89, about a seven kilometer stretch. And I had a look at the drive times, You're looking at about a half hour to get through there right now. So definitely take Highway 27 instead if you're just about to head out the door. As for the rest of the major routes right now, though, we're in great shape. There's a look at the 401 in both directions, just east of McCowan, still running at the limit. Uh, if you're traveling the eastbound Gardner, it is just starting to fill in right now as you make your way over the Humber Bridge. But the westbound lanes of the Gardner, they're still looking good as you leave the city. No sign of any problems right now on the Don Valley Parkway in either direction. And and the QEW that is still pretty lightly traveled both east and westbound. Uh, just a bit of construction still in the process of uh, wrapping up. This is the Mavis ramps to the eastbound 407. They should be clearing soon. I'll send it back downstairs to you, Tim.